uh, what we're looking at here is our drainage mat up against our foundation wall. Um, this is part of our foundation waterproofing uh, strategy for this home. Uh, what you don't see is uh, everything that's kind of happened before this. So we started out after excavation setting up our uh, forms. These are wood forms, um, traditionally traditionally formed with, uh, with two by material and then uh, poured with concrete. Um, over the top of that, we did install a vapor barrier over the top to prevent wicking from the footing up to the foundation wall. Um, what we have seen in our climate is longer humidity cycles uh, and much higher humidity over, over the seasons. And so a measure to help prevent any excess moisture or humidity getting inside the house, we're trying to prevent uh, the foundation wall from um, soaking up any moisture that might be in the footing and the footings taking moisture from the earth. So we're trying to stop that at the top of the footing. After that, we came back and set our forms. These are nine foot tall foundation walls. So nine foot forms sitting on top of our footing. Uh, that gets poured. Uh, we're gonna wait uh, about four weeks to backfill this home to make sure we get the right uh, cure out of our concrete. Um, after that, we came back with a sprayed on waterproofing material that we've been using for years. Um, that's our primary waterproofing layer. That's actually behind this drainage mat. Um, that's going to protect the home from any <clears throat> uh, water and moisture getting inside the home. Um, but an extra measure that we're doing here is putting on this uh, drainage mat, also known as a dimple board. Uh, this is acting as a, a it provides a few different benefits uh, for the home. Uh, the big one is when we backfill, um, we can be as delicate as possible, but material that's going to get thrown in here, we got rocks, clay, dirt, um, that's going to be hitting up against this foundation wall. So it's a way for us to protect our primary waterproofing barrier that's back behind this mat. Uh, so material will hit this more rigid material um, and it will be prevented from uh, actually scratching up our waterproofing. Uh, this does have a fabric over the top of this uh, dimple board to prevent any dirt getting in there and clogging the actual dimples that drive the water down, um, which is why we chose this one. Uh, another key benefit is the uh, preventing hydrostatic pressure. I mean, the impact of hydrostatic pressure up against our foundation wall. Uh, this helps relieve that pressure. So all that pressure is not directly on a waterproofing. It's up against this drainage mat. Um, this also is gonna drain water much faster. So any water that does get to our foundation wall is gonna fall um, fast and down to our footing where we have our uh, drain tile uh, wrapped with fabric and then uh, our gravel on top. So gravel is a great way to backfill around your drain tile and your foundation wall to prevent um, water just sitting there. So our strategy is down and out. So uh, we're gonna get over to the mat, down, and then into our drain tile where we can get it out. Uh, we do have interior and exterior drain tile uh, on this home. Uh, it's pretty standard for us to do it that way. We do not have a gravity way to drain um, our water that's going to be up against the house. So all of that drain tile is getting tied into our sump pump with a battery backup, and then it'll be discharged um, out the home in a way. So that's what we got.